So we've collected some data and plotted it in Desmos. We have data set one, which is represented by the green dots, data set two with the red dots. So now instead of doing y equals and putting in sliders and all that, we're going to go straight to having Desmos calculate for us what is the best fit equation. So in this case, instead of y, we actually say, have to say which y. So we're going to start with the green here. So we're going to say y1 and then use the tilde. Oops, use the tilde, which is shift up next to the one. And then we're going to say m for slope, just generic. And then again, we have to say x, which x? x1. And plus, I'm going to type in s for slope here because we're going to use b later for the second one. And now we've got a line that goes really nicely through those. So I'm going to make it match my color here. And I'm going to drag that up here so those two are together. Now I've got a nice straight line. I know the slope is 0.766, call it. And the y-intercept is negative 0.31. Sure enough, that's down here. So for the red data here, we're noticing that that is not a straight line now. So we're going to go to y2. Make sure you're using the letter, the number that goes with your letter. So y2 tilde, and I'm going to say x, and I want to do square, so, so shift 6 will give you that caret to get you in the squared range. And again, I messed up on something here. I forgot to put in the 1 or the 2. And now shift 2. So now the data, now the line looks much more like it's matching those. And again, I'm going to make this red so it matches those guys here. And we get now, there's the value of A to make that fit, 0.76. Maybe in some cases you may not think that B and C, the, the other terms, are not zero. So we can go, we can continue along here. We can say B x2 plus C. And there we have now the slope, that A value is still really close. We've got a slightly negative B and a slightly negative C. So that's up to you to decide which you want. Here I want to show you is how to plot residuals. So here it says you can plot the residuals. The residual is the difference between if I plugged in 1 to this equation here, I would get a number. The difference between that and my actual data is this number here, is that residual. So again, I'm going to make this green because I want them to match, or let's make it blue so it's... So here are these points here are how far off this is from the line. So you see this dot is a little below the line, it's a little bit negative. This data point is a little bit above the line, it's slightly positive. So as long as these are trending not, we don't want a trend where it starts high and goes low, or starts low and goes high, or curves like this. We want to see some random distribution of these points, and that way we know that this is probably the right equation. If we went down here and did plot residuals there, and then I'm going to zoom in on this here, and let's make those another color. We'll make them purple or orange. Okay, so now I'm looking at these, and we can kind of see those residuals there are kind of curving up, but they're kind of the same. Let me get rid of the BX plus C. And now they're still kind of going lower, and then suddenly we jump back up here. So we can't really conclude anything there. We don't see a definite trend. So I'd be happy with either BX plus C or without equation for us.